All right, folks, so away we go. Folks, well, welcome back to a new episode of Chuck's a Cooking. And tonight I am going to bring to you one of my childhood favorites. And this is a old time recipe that I think probably came from my grandmother. And who knows, maybe even my great grandmother before her. But back in the old days, before we had mechanical refrigeration and whatnot, people relied a lot more on things like fermented foods and pickled foods and salted foods and that kind of stuff to preserve them. So one of the recipes that's been handed down to me is pickled cucumbers and onions. And so this might be the easiest recipe that I've ever shown you folks, but I love it. I thought maybe I'd share it with you. And I've done a little twist to it here. I think you might like it. But before we jump off into that, a few weeks ago I had a viewer contact me about smoking a canned ham and he went and smoked his canned ham and before I when he contacted me I told him I would love to see pictures of his canned ham so here we've got a couple pictures of his canned ham and he wrote me this email to go with it his name is Doug Mitchell and says most excellent three and a half hours in the electric smoker adding hickory chips every 30 to 40 minutes Took off at 143 degrees internal temperature, meaning he took it off of the smoker at 143 internal. Absolutely delicious. Thank you again. Isn't that great? Folks, if you've cooked something that I have shown you, I would love to see pictures of it. And I would share them with you as, or share them with everybody else as well. And so there you go. Now then. Let's get turned around. Let's see where we're going with this. All right, folks. So my grocery list here for making my cucumbers and onions are obviously cucumbers. Then I've got two cups of red wine vinegar here. I decided to make it a little bit colorful. Normally I would use regular apple cider vinegar. I've got two cups of sugar, half of a sweet onion, just a pinch or so of allspice, and two cloves of garlic. And the first thing we're going to do is get turned around here and we are going to put together our vinegar and sugar mixture. Okay, so I've got my fire set at low heat and we're going to go ahead and we are going to just go ahead and put in our two cups of vinegar and our two cups of sugar. Now you'll notice that that doesn't look so much like sugar and that's because I used half Splenda. And this is one of those recipes that you can use all Splenda or some sort of sucralose or some, or sucralose is Splenda. Aspartame, whatever kind of sweetener you might like and not worry about having any calories in this. But I usually make it half and half. And we're just putting enough heat into this to dissolve our sugar into the vinegar there. While we're doing that, we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna take my two garlic cloves here, and I'm just gonna, these are small. If I had a bigger one, I'd probably use uh, one clove maybe. Just kinda smash them like that. I promise you I will get the peel off of there. The skin, whatever you want to call it. This one I smashed a little better. Maybe it'll come off easier. Like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and smash that just a little better. 
I'm going to put that into my vinegar mixture. Just like that. I'm also going to go ahead and put my allspice into there. that but there's still sugar in here it has not dissolved yet now you can adjust the sugar and vinegar mixture to your taste here in a minute when I feel like all the sugar is dissolved I'm going to taste it and then I will determine do I need to add more sugar do I need to add more vinegar according to my taste sometimes and if anything usually it'll be a little bit more sugar but that's totally up and subjective to you now I've never used the red wine vinegar before. I just thought I would and I gave the red wine vinegar a taste prior to using it and I thought it would be suitable. Add enough acid. I like the flavor of it. And like I said, I want to add a little color to the mixture this time. If you don't have or you don't like red wine vinegar, by all means, apple cider vinegar is how I usually make it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a taste now. I'm going to add just another tablespoon or so of sugar. I think that's got where I want it now. It's not hot, it is warm. I believe we've got all the sugar out of it. I'm gonna turn the heat off of that. In fact, I'm gonna sit it into the refrigerator for a few minutes. Okay, so what I wanna do, I'm gonna take my cucumber here. I'm gonna take my peeler. And I'm gonna peel stripes on it. On the skin. You want to make sure you wash these before you get into them. Well folks, this is a little embarrassing, but right here in this segment, I apparently either I forgot to turn on the camera or more likely I thought I had it on and I did not have it on. Maybe I didn't look at the little, look for the little red dot on the screen showing that camera is in fact recording. So I actually missed this section and believe it or not it happens more often than you might know in my videos but a lot of times I'm using two cameras and I can cover it up by having the second camera that is turned on catch what I'm about to say or show. Now in this case what you've missed is you've missed me slicing the cucumbers and the onion and then putting in the first addition of the brine or the pickling liquid, you want to call it, the, the sugar and vinegar mixture. And so we'll continue on from here. But where I'm at now is that I found that I did not have enough pickling liquid. So I went ahead and made a second one cup of the vinegar and sugar mixture without the addition of additional garlic or allspice. So that's where we're picking it up here. All right, so follow along. All right, so I'm gonna take and put this other cup of mixture I just made right in there like that. Now I've got room for all of these. Be down in the brine, I guess, or the pickling spice, pick, pickling juice, whatever you wanna call it. And we are pickling these, and they will be good for quite some time if you don't eat them as fast as I do. All right, so they're gonna go in the refrigerator now for a couple hours. We'll come back to them. All right, so after a couple hours in the refrigerator, don't those look great? A little bit of color with the red wine vinegar going on in here. Nice stripes on the edges. I'll just take two or three of those. Nobody can eat just one. A little bit of onions and these will actually get better with time, meaning if another couple days, actually they'll be better tomorrow than they are today even. But there we go. Let's get turned around. All right, folks. Now, and not only are these good plain, just like they are, these are also really good on sandwiches. 
nothing like your typical sweet pickle. That little bit of uh, allspice in there totally changes the complexion of everything. And these are excellent. I love them. Mm. Folks, these are so easy to make. They can sit out on the picnic table for an extended time in the summertime without having to be refrigerated because they're pickled. They don't have mayonnaise or something like that in them. It would spoil real quick. Hmm. Folks, these won't last long. Folks, if you like what you're seeing, down here in the bottom right hand corner, hit like and subscribe and stay tuned. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching.